Good afternoon and welcome to the African Heritage Diaspora Television Study, ultimate voice for Africans in the diaspora. My name remains Prince Tunde at the Tunji. Airport and seaport undoubtedly are the greatest assets to the development of any city and any economy in any country. The city of Atlanta is blessed with the Hartford Jackson Airport, which has commanded the interest of the and the science of the international community since the 1996 Olympics. The infrastructure that commands the tourism and the hub business has made Atlanta the mecca, the gateway of the global potentials, especially the African nation's potential to the country of the United States. Of course, kudos and credit should be given to the mayor that actually did it fit, the visionary that said, Alfie Jackson Airport is a place that will launch Atlanta to this title. With me today to discuss this vital great airport is the community-oriented professionals, the man who has done it all, who traveled from Salt Lake City to Tampa, and finally, the destination is Atlanta. His name, Mr. Louis Miller. Mr. Luis Miller, you are welcome to the African Heritage Diaspora Television. Thank you, Chief. I appreciate being here. Well, um, your story is quite uh, great and very impressive. You were an accountant yeah. by training, yeah. but eventually you uh, made giant stride in the development of airport. Salt Lake City, Utah yeah. is where you started. Yes. Now, you are in Tampa, Florida. Finally, you are here in Atlanta. What a great journey. I want to say that we congratulate you. We are very proud of you. And Atlanta is really, really uh, fortunate to have you, have you here at, as the henchman for the Hartford Jackson Airport. Now, let's begin. Tell us your story. How did you start this well, relationship? I like you started, actually I started before I was a, a CPA, I was in the United States Army yes. from 1965 through 69, Good. Sergeant E5 rank, got out of the Army and fortunately I used the, the GI Bill to go to college and I went through college at Stevens Henry Business College and the University of Utah and I started out as a CPA as you mentioned earlier and I practiced as a CPA up until 1976. And in 1976, I decided, since I was an accountant, CPA, I didn't want to look back, because auditors are always looking backwards. I wanted to be a visionary and look forward. So I went out to become the chief accountant at the Salt Lake City Airport. And I did that in 76. And then I became the finance director. And then in 1982, they made me the airport director. So I was the airport director in Salt Lake City for 14 years. 14. And then in 1996, as you mentioned, I went to Tampa to become the airport director in Tampa. I did that for 14 years as well, so that must be my mantra, 14 years at a time. So maybe I'll be here 14 years. But, uh, and then it, when they called me and I had a chance to come to Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport, the busiest airport in the world, as you know, it was just an honor for me. And when I met Mayor Reed, you mentioned before uh, the mayors that started this, Mayor Hartsfield and Mayor Jackson, are the ones that really got the visionaries that got us where we are today. But I tell you, Mayor Reed is looking in the same direction. He's trying, he's focused on the future. He wants to make sure we continue to grow the airport in our directions. And so uh, some of his priorities we'll talk a little bit about later, but I'm just, it's a thrill for me to be here. Yeah, you are welcome to the Hartford Jackson Airport, and this is where the action of the world is now. Uh, been the busiest airport uh, since uh, uh, the emergence of the 1996 Olympics. Now, let's go into the specifics. Sure. I would like you to educate from your professional knowledge of the management of airport and the success of what you have done. You've actually uh, built so many projects. You've uh, established so many credibility and criteria of various airports at the Utah, uh, Miami, uh, in Florida, now in Georgia. Airport and aerodrome, what is the difference between airport and aerodrome? 
Well, Aerodrome is more something that serves around the airport and, can, and is for the community, not necessarily for flying or not necessarily going somewhere. The key to what we do and what we try to accomplish is the airport. And our goal as an airport operator is to make sure we provide a smooth transition for the people to get from ground transportation to air transportation and then back to ground transportation when they leave. You know, here at, at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta National Airport, there are 58,000 people that work here, that are working here when you consider airline employees and airport employees and the Transportation Security Administration and Customs and Border Protection and all of the, the vendors that are here, the concessionaires, food and beverage and merchandise. And our job is to bring them all together and cre create a family and a partnership to make sure we can make that smooth transition. Providing the highest level of customer service is our number one priority. However, we can't sacrifice safety or security because in, in this day and age, security and safety are, 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 that's the most important. But customer service is very important too. So our work towards growing the airport in a direction that will provide higher levels of service and meet the needs of the community, you know, I mentioned Mayor Reed. Mayor Reed is really pushing air cargo. We want to have air cargo development coming out because you need to get products and services, goods as well as people. So, and I, you know, I went through that in Salt Lake City and in Tampa and now here, and it's just having the opportunity here in Atlanta is just amazing and, and it's such a welcoming city. I mean, I've been here six months now. People like yourself and others have talked to me and they welcome me with open arms and they say they're glad that I'm here and they'll do whatever they can to try to help and make the airport a success. And it, it, we need community support to do that. There are three kinds of people. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those that wonder why and how it happens. <laughs> you fall among the category of people that make things happen. <clears throat> Atlanta Airport, Hartford Jackson Airport, true story, since 2009, has been reputed to be the most busiest airport now in the world today. Yes. And it's serving almost about 88 million people. Yes. Easy out and uh, easy in, in and out. And uh, there is a good record of tight security, no incident. The airport is developing. What is your mission and the vision for the Hartford Jackson Airport? Well, uh, first of all, our, our mission and vision is to continue moving in that direction, to continue with the growth, and to continue providing the high level of service that we have in the past. And we have been recognized and awarded for, our, for, for the level of service that we provide. So that's something we're pleased with. But the biggest challenge that we face is as we grow and we grow and we grow, we've got to develop and bring more things online to make it work. And right now, we're planning in the spring of 2012, which is just a little over a year away, we're going to open the new Maynard H. Jackson International Terminal. And that will be, provide us with 12 additional international gates mm. on top of the 28 gates that we already have on E. So we'll have, actually have a complex of 40 gates for international arrivals. That's one of the largest in the country. And so we're hoping and we're working with the airlines to develop us in the future that we get more international service, more flights to Africa. For example, right now we have 17 flights a week going into Africa in four different countries. We hope to have that grow and get more in the future. Uh, there are other opportunities. We can go through Kent, New York, going through Kennedy Airport, and there's an additional four destinations down into, into Africa. But we would like to see those flights all coming through Atlanta, because it makes it easy for our community. Now, one thing people don't know, and that's, you know, we have 88 million people a year last year, almost 89. Yes. But 70% of those people never leave the airport. They just get off one plane to another plane. And so really the strength of the, having the hub, the connecting hub where you gather the people together and you have carriers that, you know, notable, like Delta Airlines is phenomenal. They do a ter terrific job here. AirTran is our second largest carrier. They're doing very well. And then we have a lot of foreign flag carriers and a lot of carriers, you know, the other U.S. carriers. So we have the mix of what we need and we see the future coming. Now, there's another announcement that was just made, uh, Southwest acquiring AirTran. Yes. You read about that. Uh, very good news, and in the future, it's going to be good for our community. AirTran's a terrific airline, don't get me wrong. But Southwest has been around a lot longer. They serve 39 markets in the United States that AirTran doesn't serve. So that's more opportunities uh, here from Atlanta. 
29 of those markets are west of Atlanta, so that gives us more opportunity to go to the west. And the southwest will start into doing some international service for the first time, and so that, that's good for us as well. Now, they won't go as far as Africa, but they will be flying into the Caribbean and Latin America and into Mexico and places like that. Well, I think uh, this is very impressive from the avalanche of uh, different development and stories. Uh, it's been good for the Hartford Jackson mm -hmm. Airport. Now, um, let us look into the area of day-to-day -day management of the airport. I know that uh, you are not strange in the area of how to put things together, how to uh, create more things, and also how to make things move, and also how to get everything stabilized. To reach the top is one task. Mm -hmm. To retain and maintain and be at the top is an adult's task. Yes. Atlanta has the Jackson Airport now is at the epoch, the zenith of its calling, the epoch. Mm -hmm. For this airport to remain the best, the alluring airport, and also the airport that command uh, the sensitivity and also the tourism of the world, the business of the world. What would be your number one, number two, number three objectives? To continue to make sure we meet the requirements the of the users, yes. the expectations of the users, to make sure when they come to the airport they have a place to park, right. a convenient parking place. That yeah. is very important to them. Right. That we have adequate ground transportation coming to the airport if they take a taxi cab or right. if they take a limousine or they take a bus or they come in on MARTA. So we want to make sure we provide that transition so they can get from the ground into the terminal building. Then we need to make sure we keep and continue to grow the processing to go from the terminal building to the gate. Then when they get on the gate, get on the airplane to make sure there's a smooth taxi availability so they can taxi out to the runway and get out of here without delay. And so that's our goal is to provide the facilities like this last winter when we had the ice storm. Right. Lots of problems with that, but we need to work with the airlines to make sure we have the de-icing facilities to sure. de-ice the airplanes. Mm -hmm that the airplanes can move, that if the snow comes down like it did, mm -hmm. that we clean the runways off very quickly and they're available for the people to use them. And, you know, the number one, a person, they want to get through without being delayed. Right. So our goal is to make sure we make it as, that transition very smooth and easy without sacrificing security. So we have to work with the Transportation Security Administration and we do a good job working with them. We've expanded our number of lanes, the, the, the lanes where you can go through to get screened, up to 32 lanes into three different checkpoints. We have the north checkpoint, the south, and the central. And by having all these, this quick access through security makes it a lot better for the customer. They get from where they want to go to where they want to go very quickly. And then we make sure when they're there, if they are waiting and they have time, that we have food and beverage concessions for them to utilize, a merchandise for them to buy if they want to buy a magazine or they want to buy something to take on the airplane. So we go through a long process of keeping everything available to everybody, and it's, it's a lot of work. I know. I want to say that that is a very a great work job and also a lot of work. Uh, but uh, they say there is no second chance to force impression. Right. Anybody that comes to Hartford Jackson Airport, what they are looking for is service. They don't want to miss their flight. Right. They don't want the flight delayed. Right. There is adequate security. Then they have people that are friendly and also give them the hospitality or beautiful one. Uh, these are composition and combination of uh, what makes the history of a strong airport. And this has been reported to Atlanta Hartford Jackson Airport. From your record, from Salt Lake City to Tampa, You've done this very well. These points I mentioned, especially top security, mm -hmm. especially the maintenance of the airport facility, especially people coming and uh, they do their job very well. They are at the right place at the right time. And especially uh, also people not missing their flight due to traffic, parking, and everything. And especially the aircraft is leaving on time yes. <laughs> and arriving on time. Yeah. What are your areas of changes, maintenance, and also your antidote you want to put into this to make sure this is solid and rigid? 